Welcome everyone to D-Pad, and today we will be covering Blaze Blue Continuum Shift Extend. And we are here, me, Maestro Please, and... Hey, Jin. And Jin. And we are going to go into uh, versus matches right now against each other. Let's see what happens. Let's do it. Here we go. Right, we're going down. It's time going to use down. my kawaii girl. Nope, it's... Uh, who am I using? I don't, I don't know. I don't know any of the Pac characters. Pac-Man. Is there... There are there character advantages to this game? Um, everyone has their own. It's like there's like a meta game. There's like you're fighting with other people, mm -hmm. but then you have to learn the game of your character. Okay. So like you're using Bang Shishigami. All right. I, I love Bang. I just love saying his Shishigami. name. <laughs> and he is the ninja, and he right. throws shurikens. He teleports. So, he does like these crazy like fire fist moves. So, so kind of like Strider. No. Nothing like Strider. Okay. <laughs> Not really like Strider. Let's just. Let's just jump into the game. All right. First time we've opened it. Let's see what happens. Reversing each other. All Here right. we go. Bang! Let's Shishu Tommy versus Kawaii Girl. I <laughs> mean the Squirrel Girl. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's do it. Here we go. You're mine. Oh, we'll see about that. So it looks very anime. Oh, I love that. Oh, well, I love any anime game. Oh, of course. Know? I mean. <laughs> What, sh what show were we on before this? Uh, exactly. <laughs> and now here we go. Let's, Let's go. You're mine. Mm. Prank we'll Shishigami! Prank Shishigami! Prank Bang Shishigami! So this kind of feels kind of like uh, Guilty Gear, and, and, you know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit of uh, <laughs> what? What <laughs> butt mashing. mashing. Just a little bit. It's okay. I, I mean, this is the first time we're touching this game. That's true. And, um, yes, the same makers of Guilty Gear made Blade Blue. It's kind of like the movie, really. And, uh, it's really fun to play a uh, total different, like, art choice. But, like, you still you still feel like you're playing Guilty Gear a little bit, like, especially with the music. Because usually in the music of Guilty Gear, it's either uh, super hard rock stuff or, um, like, weird, like, gospel music. Stop low I'm hearing. thinking Stop. of picking your butt in this game right now. Oh god, what's going nothing's on? Nothing's going on, nothing's going on. You're not gonna get in. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Here we go. Yeah, go squirrel girl! Squirrel girl! Squirrel girl! I don't know what's happening! Oh! Oh. That's another oh. thing about this game, they have uh, barrier blocks which help you prevent, oh. get prevented, or prevents you from getting chip damage. Oh. Which is really awesome. That, that but, is very helpful. Yeah, except like the barrier right there, it actually, it has its own little health bar. Oh, okay. There's a so lot of bars and signals in this game and you're just gonna be... Oh, kind of confusing. Well, it's like, uh, there is a, there is a, uh, a tutorial mode for this in the beginning. Or, like, well, if I you guess go we didn't even bother doing that. Yet. No, because we are going straight into it. Yes, we are. And now, then, mind you, I've never played any Blaze Blue game, but I have played Guilty Gear, so it kind of really, like, the controls feel similar. I, I'm used to playing, like, Street Fighter, um, Marvel vs. Capcom, yeah. and right now, I don't feel a sense of that at all. Like, I feel like each one, you have, it connects to another, you know? Uh, yeah. Like, um, the cool thing about the Guilty Gear games is that they had a thing called, like, uh, like the insta kill move, not really like fatalities, but uh, oh no, ah, ah, got it. Specials, specials. Am I dead? No, I'm not dead. I will survive. Ah, no. Oh! What survival? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they have insta kills in this game, and then if you look up the command list, it's prob it probably shows uh, the way to do the insta kills, but. It's pretty hard to do them because there's like a lot of conditions that have to be met. Like for example, you have to have 100% heat, which is the little bar to your bottom right. Oh, so that's what that is. Yeah. Okay. And then that's it's like your super bar. It's like your super bar, pretty much. Except, um, like it takes a while to to, to actually make the, the heat uh, heat meter go up. Because I know um, in uh, the story mode, you're actually able to just like taunt like that, and then you'd al already automatically have 100 heat, and it was so broken. I loved it, because Pedro would kick some butt, because he would just throw people around. But um, yeah, that's the, that's the thing about um, the heat dodge, it takes a while to load up. And like, you can't even do like, watch, do not hit me! <laughs> you know how like I'm punching and I'm not do I'm not getting anything. Yeah. You can't like 
that's like one thing, like something from like Third Strike, where you could actually like punch the air and you'd still get like yeah. meter. This one, you have to actually get hurt or make contact with your character or the opponent's character in order to do something. And then, um... Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I just realized I got low health. <laughs> no! No, 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 no. You're no. lying! No! You will be punched in the face no! by the awesome squirrel girl. No! Yeah! Distortion finish! Got my face! Oh. Whatever! Goodbye, Barry. She got me. Ah. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Fine. All Fine. right, and now for our second host of the day, um, come on in. Introduce yourself. Hey guys, it's me, Kai. <laughs> yes, and we are here, and he has played Blaze Blue games before, right? Yes, I have. Yes. Uh, which which game did you uh, own? The very first one and the second one. Oh, oh man. I like. I only. I only had a the second one, the continuum shift. But they definitely changed the, the move sets for like all the characters from that's, the first one to that's this why one. I'm worried. Oh man. Like I know um uh Rachel had like this drastic move set change from first game to second game. Yeah, that's I heard about that. Yeah, and then um yeah, there's more characters, which is really awesome. More story. Like, nice. And oh Jinky Zaragi! Oh man, that's like tournament tournament status characters. Oh, bruh. Let's go! How come it's gonna stab some death? No! Oh. So, the cool thing about uh, Aquaman is that, uh, well, I mean, uh, I played the story in the other game, the second game, but this is extend, so it's kind of like, you know how they have Marvel vs. Capcom, and now they have like Marvel vs. Capcom, uh, or Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. So it's kind of like that, how like um, Capcom releases something, but then this is Axis Games we're talking about. So um, how they release something, but then they release another game, which is probably for a cheaper price too. And darn it, I'm getting my butt whooped, and I'm a burst, and I cannot do my empty sky forms, and there we go. Smash! Smash! Oh! <laughs> I just want to counter come and do that. Like Oh, oh it yes! Too close. <laughs> it was too close. Hawkman, Hulk, Hulk with a sword. Oh. Is that how you define him? Oh, uh, that's how a Kirby Kid defines him. Although there is another Hulk, which is the awesome Cager, and he will throw people around. He's like Zangief. He is the Zangief of this game. Like he's just like, oh, you got a problem? Just, just, just throw all your problems away. Ah, oh, no ice. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh. oh. Empty sky No! Stop doing the non-empty sky form stuff. And oh I remember at AX this year they had a lot, a lot of Hawkman crossbowers. And then they were really? pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. I did good. not see one. What? I saw a few. I was like, oh man, you guys are legit. But um there were a lot of Tao Kaka cosplays, and I was like, ah, Tao Kaka. She's cute. Oh no! 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 Oh, the, the, the taxi cab! The ice <laughs> taxi cab! Oh man. It's all good, dude. It's all good. Yeah. Have you ever played uh, the arcade mode for this game? Yes. Oh, isn't it like so hard? It is. It, uh, it's like, that's one, of the, that's one of the ruthless things about this game, like, um, other than Marvel where like, your final character is Galactus, and right. like, you know, it's really easy for everyone to be Galactus. <laughs> Because all you have to do is like air combo, air combo, air combo, special air combo, special. Pretty much that's all you do. But when uh, you're playing Blaze Blue, who's the final boss? It's Hizama, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just, Hizama is just broken. He, he is. is. Like no matter what, and there's like two forms of them. Yeah, there's two forms. There's uh, there's a normal form, and then there's unlimited form, and then that's something that I forgot. No, no, <laughs> no. Let's go. Oh, no, stop it. Stop. I will stop you! Ah, oh, no! Dang it, I lost! No! Alright, does anybody want to jump in first? Yeah, give me back another shot. Alright, alright. Get out of here! Alright, alright, alright. Wait, wait. Do you, want to, do you want to play controller? Or do you want to. I'm used to. Alright, alright. Right, 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 let, let me give it a shot. <laughs> alright, cool. Alright, start. Keep, keep going, keep going. Right. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, go sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, thank you, Kai. Thank mm -hmm. you, Gene. Thank you very much. Yeah, great game, well, GG. Well. GG. And now, we are going to take a step into the world of Blaze Blue.